So how do we know when we're there? I mean, you know, today we look at our organization and we say, you know, in some areas we're more empowered than others. In some areas we execute better than in others. Uh, you know, we're trying to build this leadership culture. But where you know you get there uh, is if you're getting the performance you want, see, because, you know, you're in business to get things accomplished, but you then also got to look at human satisfaction, you know, and we look at two kinds of satisfaction. One is our customer satisfaction, our customer loyalty and all, and then how do our people feel? And so, you know, it, you need to do these. A lot of people think the only reason for being in business is to make money, you know, and uh, that's a short-term thing. I believe that profit is the applause you get for taking care of your customers and creating a motivating environment for your people. So that I think the real target is the triple bottom line. Now, could you clarify for a second, you made reference to the triple bottom line. That refers to what? You want to be uh, the provider of choice. You know, you want your customers to love you. You want to be the employer of choice. You want your people to, to love you and be loyal and stay and be good performers. And then you want to be the investment of choice. You know, you want to make sure that uh, it's, it's, uh, people are pleased with that. I think one of the problems, on, from my perspective, is that Wall Street and other financial groups uh, think that there's only one reason for being in business, and they forget, I mean, uh, these other things. We struggle to find the leaders that we want to emulate. I mean, we, we struggle to find the real role models. What do you think we should be looking for when we look for that role model? Well, it's interesting, Todd. I, I got to think about that about a year and a half ago. My wife and I went on a safari in Africa. And uh, we've been on a number of safaris, but I saw the jungle differently than I ever saw. And it had a lot to do with leadership. If you've ever heard a lion roar up close, I mean, it'll scare the devil out of you. I mean, just put chills up your back. He says when the lion's roaring, what he's really saying is, it's mine, 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 mine. And if you hear a lion, that's what it sounds. And he said, that's what he's saying. Baby, this is my territory. You mess with me. You're in trouble. And a lion will kill their sons if they challenge their territory. And I thought, isn't that really interesting, you know, because as human beings, we are intelligent animals at best, you know. And we have a chance to make some decisions that lions and rhinos don't get. Every day we got a chance to decide if we're going to choose the flesh or the spirit, if we're going to be self-serving or serving. And I feel that unfortunately there's too many leaders in business who are taking the self-serving choice. They think it's all about them, all the power and money and status, you know, and it's, it's all, it doesn't matter about other people and all. And I think the world is in a desperate need of a different leadership role model. You know, leaders who realize that it's not about them because it's the people that are closest to customers. It's the people that are out there implementing what you have. They're the ones that make the difference. You create the environment. They make it happen. So you really don't see this at the end as being the, the abstract, uh, fuzzy kind of discussion. You see it as also what it takes to get the result as well as the respect. Absolutely. And the leadership is a stimulus. It's, you know, it's the thing that creates the excitement that gets those kinds of results. You know, uh, somebody said that, that I'm really uh, in the culture building business as a leader. I like that. Well, you're creating a culture that people want and are excited about accomplishing the goals that can make a difference for your organization and in the process bring self-respect to them, feel motivated, to feel good about themselves. It's, it's, a, it's a powerful thing. And if people get that you're their partner, that you're on their side, and it's not all about you, and you're, you know, all the brains seem to flow your way, uh, they, they get excited. They'll, they'll do it. And it's what happens when you're not there.